Hi, I'm Dr. Gabby Cora at the National Publicity Summit, here with Laura Berger and Glenn Tibaldeo. How are you? Very well, thank you. How are you? This is your first summit. Yes, it is. Exciting. Yes, Very much absolutely. So. You have some great things to share with the world. Go for it. Well, uh, I think the life-changing experience for us personally, and you can speak on your own as well, <laughs> is that in 2006, we actually uh, quit our corporate jobs making six figures, and we moved to the jungles of Costa Rica. Okay, hold on. Yes. Go, go with that again. You quit your corporate job secure, nice income flowing in, and you decided to go to the? The jungles of Costa Rica. Okay. Yes, yes. And it was an incredible experience from a personal development, a peeling back the onion type of experience. But it was also very challenging on our relationship, taking that, that big leap and that transition from something that's so known to going into such an unknown environment where you needed to adjust your expectations. And Glenn, how did you make that decision to go? To go? Yeah. You know, in hindsight, it's it's funny that the more I think about it, the more it becomes a, a situation where there must have been something in my cosmic chart or something. I don't know, but if I if I think about how possessed I was with that decision at the time, um, we went back and forth for a couple of years. We ran spreadsheets, we rated uh, you know one place versus the other and whatnot. But really, in my mind. Uh, I was set on going there. So you were dreaming the dream before it even happened? Yes. Pretty much, yeah. We, Pretty went, much. we went there and we had a few spiritual experiences. You know, what I, what I experienced, I thought, was, was a bit of the, um, the law of attraction in reverse. Um, sometimes you don't need to manifest things in your life. Your, your life will kind of, your attention will go to the signs and sometimes those are the signs you follow. So you see a rainbow in the sky and you say, well, I just thought about a rainbow. I need to be in Costa Rica. Well, there's a million rainbows in Costa Rica. So when it's time, it's time, sometimes. So that was your time? It must have been. What was one of the great experiences you had there? Spiritual or just, you know, everyday experience that made a difference? I think one of the greatest experiences that I had was I had always been the go-getter, very uh, strong you know, corporate woman, and, and Glenn would follow my lead. And when we were in Costa Rica, I was falling to pieces and it felt incredible that I could really rely on him to, to help me out and help me get through that. So I know that sounds, and maybe even in the moment, I was freaking out, like, oh my God, what's happening to me? Where's my strong, powerful you know, woman inside of me? But in, in retrospect, that was very good because it, there was a shift in our relationship where he was able to, to take over and, and step up to the plate, really. So you and found your new you, in a way. Yes. And how did you kind of come into play when you realized that the Laura you had met was a little bit different while you were in Costa Rica? So how did that transition yeah. you know, happen for you? That's something we talk about a lot. Um, you know, I didn't expect, I should have known maybe because I spoke the language, and um, I, I culturally I aligned a little bit better with just the culture there. Um, I should have been more prepared for what was kind of, I guess, imposed on me, not by Laura, but by the situation. Um, but it was very sudden for me. And uh, there was a lot of responsibility that I normally didn't have. So it was, it was, it was pretty stressful. And then when, when, speaking of surprises, when you're in the middle of the jungle and there's not a lot to do, um, you start to realize that the parts of your, your spouse that you never knew were there, and she, it was like, who did I marry? Which was fine, but you had to get to know a new place and a new spouse all at the same time. Right. And he, I remember one thing that he said to me so vividly. He said, since when did I marry a crier? And I was like, oh my God, I'm a crier, you know, because I never cried. You, like, so it was I, a totally different part of you that was coming out and it was still you. So, absolutely. So in a way you were both able to rediscover one and a well, yourselves internally first obviously but then one another too Absolutely. and you've shared with me that there's a lot about your communication styles that you were also working on as well so what, what's been happening with that sure well while we were down there we were very um, diligent about this technique called write read relate and so what we would do is we would pick a question of the day that was very pertinent so for example what are so just one second yes. then. write Read and relate. We'll be right back.